Good morning, everyone. So we are now on day 11 of uh, social distancing time. And I thought I'd just share with you how we've been spending our mornings and um, also share an unboxing with you later in this video. So we typically do some reading with Kai right when he wakes up. And then I try to keep him active and busy. He does some drawing. We always head down to the basement uh, where his giant playroom is. Um, yeah, we have a tent down here. Um, he's enjoying some circle time because he is a toddler and for some reason enjoys doing that. And um, we run around the house and just get completely worn out himself and myself uh, right before he goes down for his nap. So once he's down for his nap, I do a little bit of chores around the house um, and then I use the rest of the time to relax. Uh, so for some reason, I feel like we are backed up on laundry even though we've been living in pajamas. Does anyone else feel that way? Or maybe that's just the never-ending truth about laundry. It just literally never ends. Before this whole quarantine, social distancing thing um, happened, Kai and I usually take the time um, before his nap to go do errands. So we would, you know, go do grocery shopping or I'd take him to like a little play gym or take him to the library, um, those types of things. So I'm not going to lie, it's been... <laughs> I think more exhausting just being home with a toddler than um, being able to go out and run errands and do things. Um, being home with Kai has really been, you know, a little difficult because I'm constantly trying to find new ways to entertain him, entertain him and, um, you know, excite him and also uh, get him learning. But it's definitely been tough um, and I think also a big issue is that we, we live in the um, Midwest so the weather hasn't been very good either so we haven't been able to spend all day outside I literally cannot wait till the warmer weather arrives so once I'm done doing you know a few chores I'll come to the dining table and pop open my laptop, play a YouTube video, and do some journaling. This is just literally my quiet time. Lately, Kai's naps have been inconsistent, so I never know if I'm going to get 40 minutes or if I'm going to get an hour and a half of quiet me time. Um, today, I was able to get, you know, an hour and a half, which was really nice. So something that this quarantine situation has also uh, created is a difficulty almost to um, work on personal goals, if that makes any sense. Um, again, a lot of the things that I want to achieve require, you know, going places. I wanted to make new friends in this new city that we are living in. I really wanted to you know, spend more time outside and exercising to achieve uh, weight loss, um, to constantly have fresh produce from farmer's markets and things like that so that I could be eating really healthy. But, and I know everybody feels this way. It's tough because you're, you're home. You, you get a little bit bored and you, the pantry is always there waiting for you. Um, but yeah, so... Matt had a moment um, in between his calls, so I took the opportunity to go to the mailbox because I had happy mail arrive today and I could not wait to open it. Um, I wanted to show you really quick, before I walked into the house, Murphy found this giant stick and was having the best time playing with it. Uh, I just think it's way too cute when he starts running with it <laughs> because it's so big. Uh, so cute but anyway I ordered um, a brand new fountain pen from the Nipsmith um, I'll link down his website below 
but um, it's quick, quick, quick shipping time and delivery time because he, I believe he's located in Iowa, which borders Kansas. So that um, makes it really nice. So what I ordered was um, a Pelican. I've never had a Pelican before. Um, it's definitely the nicest fountain pen that I'm adding to my collection. I mean, look at this beautiful um, little pen case that it came with. Absolutely wonderful. Um, and this is the Pelican M800. Um, it's called the Brown Stripe, I believe. And it has a two-tone, 21 karat nib, um, and I got it in the fine point. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink it up here with my favorite ink by Diamine called Aurora Borealis, and um, take an opportunity to play with it for a little bit. So let's put that ink away and bring out my trusty journal. This is the narrow size Chic Sparrow Mr. Darcy from the Austin line. And I actually feature her in my last video that I'll link down below. I'm very amazed at how lightweight this pen is for how large the actual body is. And I'm also surprised at how broad um, this fine point writes absolutely beautiful though. And finally I wanted to show you the jigsaw puzzle that I'm currently working on. It's a thousand pieces and it's a map of the world but in flowers. It just makes me think of how the world will bloom after uh, this situation that we are going through. That's it for today my friends. Thank you so much for joining me this morning.